really right now. Up oh, Wedding Nerd Against This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. And today's Mog and Nerdkin live reaction video is going to be for Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest Chapter 39. So I do not hate this. And the reason why that I think Mashima is deciding to go weekly with this one is because of heroes. But I'm uh, Mashima, do not fuck up your health. Please do not fuck up your health. Because Mashima has. And luckily, but uh, Mashima doesn't draw for fairy t the drawings for Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest. He just does the writing. Um, I just hope Mashima doesn't like kill himself. Seriously, Mashima, you have three mangas all going at the same time, and you're doing this weekly. Like, I was fine with Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest being bi-weekly. Oh my god. Anyway, um, last chapter of Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest was very interesting. Um, like, <laughs> Makara, of course, got possessed by the Ghost Dragon. Of course, out of everybody, it had to be Makara. So now we got Nazi versus Makara. Will Makara actually die this time? Oh my god, please just kill off Makara, finally. Like, all of us fairy tale fans have been waiting for Makara to die and actually stay dead. I'm so curious, because, like, in Heroes, Mashima is totally making fun of himself. So I'm just... Oh god, Mashima, do not Mashima this up, please. Please. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And chapter 39 is titled, um, Cocoon Dragon Cuc um, Cuckoo. Uh, here we go. Right shoulder church. Wendy is still trapped in a cocoon. How could she win against a strong enemy like Nabal? Oh, we're going back to Wendy's fight. This one moves through, though, she all wrapped up. I'm still disappointed we did not get Wendy versus Loxus, but I will say uh, say this, the Loxus fight we're getting right now is good. <laughs> so I ain't, I'm I ain't too pissed. Wendy, you, what dragon are you? I'm the Sky Dragon, a Sky Dragon Slayer. No, you could, <laughs> I'm a good dragon. <laughs> coo coo. <laughs> time that same move won't work again cuckoo road <laughs> God, um, uh, Alderaan will lose his power. Only three more. What's with this shaking? An orb's been destroyed, huh? That makes three orbs left, and one of them is here. What are you planning to do by weakening Alderaan? We will wipe him out in order to fight the rest of the dragon gods. <laughs> I'm sorry! This isn't gonna work! You are not going to defeat my boy Ignia with Alderaan! That's just not happening! And... I don't know if you could defeat, I don't know if one could beat the moon. I just, really? <laughs> just thinking about this plan, it's just like, I understand why you ain't going after India first, because India would whoop all your motherfucking asses. Let's be real, India's gonna still whoop everybody's fucking ass. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. The White Wizard's plan is to steal the power of the Wood God, Wood Dragon God. I see. Our objective is to weaken Alderaan, so um, we can eat him. Our objectives might be different, but we both have the same means. Seems so. Then what are we doing fighting with the orb right in front of us? Oh my God! There's logic. <laughs> Damn it! I want this fight to continue, but oh my God, the logic. You started it though. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, Loxus. That's right, because you looked like you taste so good. Perfect for an appetizer. Yes, yes, yes. More Kyria versus Loxus. Oh, God. Yes, 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 yes. I want more. I I'm glad Kyria was like, you know, we do have the same goals, but, uh, you, you know, our you know, our objectives are maybe different, but our goals are the same. But you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to eat you as an appetizer anyway, because I want because <laughs> he looks so good. <laughs> I love it. While Loxus and Kyria are fighting, now's the best time to take the orb. Still, uh-oh. Oh, God, here we go. We're about to go Fifty Shades of Mashima right now. But still, the situation. Oh, my God, what? 
Urza, now is the time for you to do what? To turn what? To turn you white? It's not gonna work! Because Ur of Urza's fake eye. It's not gonna work. Too close. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, stop! Don't leave yourself to me. All of you. Jalal, please don't do these bindings. They bring back bad, bad memories. Oh, yes. I want to put these hands on your shoulders. I want to touch your cheek. Urza. Sorry, I won't do that again. What are you, Urza? Now it's time for you to get bound. Oh, that's good. I'll take on all of you now. Come, I'm always ready. Oh my god, Jalal! <laughs> I think Jalal is like the Jerza fan face, or the Urza fan face. Oh my god. The men in the, well, the men and women that want to basically do Urza are probably just like, yeah! Hell, <laughs> Wendy, Jalal! Jalal is, is definitely going that Fifty Shades route here. We're at Fifty Shades of Mashima right now. No, that's not it. Just stay like that for a while. Um, I see. I'm being teased, right? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor Jalal. Like, <laughs> this is, I'm sorry. This is Fifty Shades of Mashima right here. I have to hurry back to the church. Oh, now here we go. N now that I think about it, I've never seriously, uh, never fought seriously against Gramps. You should not think of me as an acquaintance. This old man's magic is combined with mine and has given birth to unrivaled power. Woo! That hurts, and just earlier I was passing through walls. Hmm. Hey, wait, how did you land a hit on me if I'm a ghost? Even though my bo real body couldn't attack you. We're not on the same level in the first place. I'm a ghost, and strictly speaking, you are a thought projection. Whether or not my attacks connect with solid objects is decided from my point of view. I don't get it, but it sounds unfair. It totally does. This is a bullshit. Um, no, you also unconsciously decided to make contact from your po uh, point of view. By nature, an ethereal body cannot touch anything, but you managed to hit the cat that I possessed, so you could also hit this old man if you felt like it. I don't quite get if being a ghost is handy or not. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> that being said, who is this old man? This is a sinker weight I've never experienced before. Gramps is the master of my guild. A guild master? That explains the enormous magic power. Judging from his uh, age, he might have seen the abyss of death in all of his experiences. Yes, he has. And you know what? Like, killing Makarov and bringing, thinking a Bashi mining Makarov is definitely benefiting right now. And maybe Makarov will finally die. Please, Mashima, just let the man die. It's like the same thing with Nakaba. Let freaking Escanor die already. Wait, does this mean he also fulfilled the third condition? A, a blood- Wait, what? A blood relative? This old man, does he have some relation with me? Wraith and Makarov might be related by blood. Wait, 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 this is going to be, I can't wait to find out what the connection between Wraith and Makarov, that, or the, the familial connection. That is going to be interesting. So it looks like Loxus is about to get some new family too. Oh god, this is going to be so good. So good. Uh, but, I, dude, one of your quest just keeps getting so much better and better. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the writing, the art is great, and like... In a way, like, like, oh god, Mashima, I have to wonder if this was all according to your plan when you brought Makarov back the second time? <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is gonna be so interesting. I'm really curious what you guys think of this chapter, and what you guys think about the familial connection that Makarov and uh, Wraith have. That's gonna be so fascinating to find that out. Um, and... Then, like, oh god, I can't wait for more of the Loxus fight. That fight's gonna be so good. I'm sorry. It's just so good. And, of course, Wendy fucking failed. And that kind of makes me mad that Wendy failed. Um, like, but, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, oh my god, we had to have that Fifty Shades of Majima going up in there. <laughs> Between Urza and Jalal. It had to go Fifty Shades. <laughs> it really did. Anyway. 
Very curious what you guys think. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdicans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more fairy tale 100 years quest content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdicans, I will be seeing you later.